Question 10 of the Talent Q Corn Ferry Elements Numerical Practice Test. Pause this video and have a go at answering this question. When you're ready, press play again and I'll go through my work solutions with you. I hope you've had a go. What is the April to June sales ratio for the Dublin and Berlin outlets combined when compared to the London outlet sales for the same period? To solve this, we have to use this table here and we have to specifically focus on the April to June sales. So here we have April, May, June, so we have to focus on these three columns here. And we have to combine the sales figures for Dublin and Berlin, Dublin and Berlin, and we have to compare that to the London sales, which is here. So essentially what we have to do is add up all of these numbers here to get a sales figure for Berlin and Dublin, and then add up all of these figures here to get a sales figure for London, and then compare it and come up with a ratio. So if you were to work out the sales for Berlin, all we have to do is 150 plus 105 plus 135, which is 390. And then we have to do the same for Dublin, which is 95 plus 105 plus 90, which is 290. And when you add up these two numbers together, you get 680. So the total sales for Dublin and Berlin is 680. When we do the same for London, we do 100 plus 120 plus 120, and that gives us 340. So essentially, our sales ratio at the moment is 680 to 340. Now, to simplify this, all we have to do is divide both sides by 340. And that would give us a simplified ratio of 2 to 1. How do we know we have to divide by 340? Because 340 is the highest common factor that goes into both numbers. Okay. Another way of thinking about this would be, um, if you notice that 680 is double 340, then you know this is twice as big as this, meaning this number is twice as big as this number, so the ratio is 2 to 1. If you have any questions, do let me know in the comments below. Definitely make sure you revise over your ratios and currency exchanges because these types of questions come up all the time in every single numerical psychometric test. So again, if you have any questions, do let me know in the comments below. If you would like to see more videos like this, do give us a like and subscribe.